Abu Huraira said, while the Prophet was lying with Safiya, Abu Ayyub stayed the night at his door. When he saw the Prophet in the morning he said, God is the greatest. He had a sword with him, he said to the Prophet, O Messenger of God, this young woman had just been married, and you killed her father, her brother, and her husband, so I did not trust her not to harm you. The Prophet laughed and said, Good. Even though it's a weak narration, as you can see al waqid is in the chain and on the sources on the screen, you will see that he's a weak narrator. So, let's go to our authentic narrations to see what really happened. Before I get into that, let's go up a few years before. Before the war, she had a vision of marrying the Prophet and she told her husband that and the husband punched her in the face and gave her a black eye. You may say that the Prophet unalived her father and her husband but that's wrong because her father passed away three years before the treason and her husband been unalived in war and the source actually says that the Prophet didn't even know who he was. Now this narration is the cherry on top. The Prophet when chose her for himself, gave her two options to either be free and go with your people, go with your family, or to marry me. And she chose Allah and his messenger. And this is authentic, the chain is authentic according to Bukhari and Muslim. Now this video refutes the argument of the Prophet forcing her and R-word her to marriage and also unalliving her father and husband. This claim has been debunked. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.